and in Chicago, we are going to see colder weather. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it really is about to change in a yeah. big way. We, we've been pretty lucky lately that the temperatures have been a little milder. It's been gray, but it's been milder. Right. That's all about to change, and I think it's going to start happening. As we look at the larger picture, you can see some of that snow and ice that's happening in the parts of Virginia there. Otherwise, your eye is pretty much drawn to that blue that's spinning just to our north and west, and that is the possibility of snow that's going to be moving our way. That may happen as early as today. Some of you are already seeing a few snow flurries, but the bulk of this is farther to the west, and that'll bring us off and on snow showers. For the next 24 hours or so, we may carry some of that into Saturday as well. Your hour-by-hour -hour forecast keeps us in the 30s. But the temperatures are going to be dropping, especially as we get into the evening. Again, a couple of snow showers or snow flurries couldn't be ruled out for today. Temperatures tonight will drop down into the 20s. And once we get into the 20s, we are not expected to get back above freezing for a while, maybe through the rest of our seven day forecast. Here's your future clouds and radar. There's a chance for a couple of snow showers this afternoon for the evening commute. Shouldn't lead to much in the way of any accumulation. No issues on the roads expected because road temperatures are pretty warm. However, it may cause some visibility concerns and there may be uh, some light accumulation, less than a quarter of an inch, really a dusting possible. Uh, as you look to tomorrow, kind of the same thing, more scattered snow showers, maybe briefly a little dusting here and there, but temperatures will be much colder tomorrow, so we will keep an eye on that even if the amounts are on the lighter side into Saturday we go and a chance of flurries is there again none of this is going to amount to very much we may see as much as a half an inch when you combine all three days but it's just really going to be a pesky situation but look at the temperatures 28 for Saturday 25 that's your high temperature for Sunday Average high is 37. Once we cool down below freezing, we do not rebound all the way through the entire seven day forecast. I was hoping my temperature outlook map wouldn't be uh, would be updated by this point, but it has not yet updated. But it's going to show you this temperatures colder than average Tuesday and into Wednesday. And even looking beyond this seven day forecast, the temperatures are going to stay cold. And while snow chances remain in the forecast, nothing major when it comes to snow, at least at this point, is moving our way.